My name is Leah Johnson, and my film is a romantic comedy feature called I'm Through with White Girls. I'm the producer and lead actress. I'm Through with White Girls. Can you please tell us about that wonderful title? I can. Um, I get asked about the title I'm Through with White Girls all the time. And uh, what I always tell people is that uh, it, there's a deeper meaning that you get once you see the film that has to do with being through with the idea of what is white and what is black. And I'm mixed Bahamian and American, and so it's definitely something that I'm very interested in in terms of a theme and, um, and sort of breaking stereotypes that I see in media um, about all people. And how long have you been in filmmaking? Oh wow, I've been making films for about eight years. Um, I did a number of short films that have gone around the world internationally for film festivals, and uh, this is my very first feature film. Uh, it was shot entirely in Los Angeles, California, and um, so it was, it was a real adventure. A friend of mine from college, um, Courtney Lilly, wrote it, and uh, I took over and, and uh, found the cast and the crew and the director, who was wonderful, and she's actually here tonight, um, Jennifer Sharp, and so I was very lucky to be a part of the, part of the project. Uh, I currently live in Los Angeles, um, my father and all my father's family is here and uh, my mother's family is in New York City. Funding was interesting. Um, all of my friends uh, are, are actors. <laughs> So nobody has any money at all, and <laughs> so um, I wasn't really sure how to ask uh, people for money, but I do throw really good parties. It's the Bahamian in me, and uh, as you can see, um, and so I threw a big roller skating party and had everyone come and pay $25, and then I got sponsors to do the food and the alcohol and the roller skates, which I thought was a great combination. And um, so then we had a silent auction, and people were willing to, to put up money for the film, and it also just raised awareness, so I was able to get individual investors that way as well. So there's even a creative process in, fil in, in fundraising. <laughs> you have no idea. Fundraising is probably one of the more creative things about making film, independent film anyway. I'm Jennifer Sharp. I'm the director of I'm Through with White Girls. Now that, that title <laughs> has been getting a lot of attention here at the uh, Bahamas International Film Festival and can you tell us a little bit about that film? Yes, definitely. Uh, first of all, as far as the title goes, is I'm through with white girls, but the deeper meaning of the title is actually about being through with the idea of labeling people as black and white and looking at people because of the color of their skin and thinking you're white, you need to be like that, you're black, you need to be like that. It's really about I'm through with, I'm ready to find someone that I love regardless of the color. So that's the deeper meaning, but it's a 90 minute romantic comedy and it, address, it challenges stereotypes and addresses commitment issues in relationships. This is my first feature. However, I'm Through With White Girls has won nine awards so far. So we're doing really good on the festival circuit. Courtney Lilly is the writer, and he actually was a writer on Arrested Development, and Everybody Hates Chris. So he writes a lot, and, and he's really quirky. The humor is so smart and so funny. Like, it's, it's refreshing. And another really great thing that the Bahamas International Film Festival has done for us is that when you do independent films, a lot of times you don't, you're don't. you broke and you're struggling and you're working for the next thing and, and you really never have time to like stop and appreciate the work you did and really like, I did a lot of work, this is a great film, I need to relax. And actually for a filmmaker, the best thing a film festival does a lot of times is like for once it gives you the glory that you deserve. Because at this level a lot of times when you don't make it to theaters, you never get glory, you're just always working. So you have a minute to stop and be really proud of it.